What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today we are going to be discussing a wide variety of Modern Warfare topics because the reveal for multiplayer is set to come out in just a couple of days. So as we lead up to that, Infinity Ward is going to be revealing little bits and pieces of information like today. We got our first look at three new killstreaks. Yep, killstreaks are going to be returning the yearly controversial microtransactions debate and a whole lot more. So today, Infinity Ward revealed that kill streaks are going to be returning instead of score streaks. Now, a lot of people did seem to prefer score streaks mainly because you can just play the objective and gain score towards your score streak meter for, you know, just playing the objective or by just having other streaks out like the UAV, for example. You can earn assist points if your team gets kills while someone was mapped on the radar. But with kill streaks, however, the only way you can build up towards your next streak is if you get kills from either using your gun or by using another kill streak. Um, so my main concern with this is just players not wanting to play the objective in game modes because they'd rather rack up kills instead of you know playing to win the game. Um, for a while though, I have noticed that more people really haven't been playing more of the objective compared to when kill streaks were a thing back in the day from like Modern Warfare 2 and Modern and Black Ops 1 even um, before they even introduced the score streak system. So. Um, I'm not too sure if it's going to make a huge difference to be honest. I could care less. Either or works for me. I just prefer score streaks because um, I do feel that it does promote team play and uh, objective play the most compared to kill streaks for sure. But um, like I said, haven't really noticed a big difference since score streaks were uh, implemented in the Call of Duty series. And I feel that as the game has gone little by little every single year, more people tend to lean more towards not playing the objective. So I don't think it's going to make a huge difference there, but that's just my main concern with this, however. But it, it's just not going to be that big of an issue to me. So um, kill streaks are going to be returning. And then we also got three new kill streaks. The first one is called the Juggernaut Suit, which is basically where you call in a care package that contains a Juggernaut Assault Gear. And with this, it's just basically super hard for the enemy. And with this, it's just super hard for the enemy team to kill you because you're wearing this heavy armored gear and you also have a machine gun so um you're definitely very very powerful in the juggernaut suit this was a streak back in modern warfare 3 and it is going to be making a return in modern warfare so um pretty cool there and then for the next streak we have the infantry assault vehicle which is a manda light infantry assault vehicle with a 50 cal machine gun on top so um, it looks like you're gonna be able to drive this tank around the map and also, you know, shoot that 50 cal machine gun. I assume it's gonna be somewhat similar to like the AGR or the Cerberus, um, you know, something like that from the Black Ops universe. The mobility of the vehicle is a little bit concerning to me because it's a fairly large tank and I'm not really all too sure how it's gonna be able to traverse around the map, so. We're gonna have to wait and see how that goes. And then for the last streak that was revealed to us is called the White Phosphorus, where it covers the battlefield with white smoke flare canisters that will disorient the enemy and burn any that wander too close. Now, the White Phosphorus sounds the most epic out of all of these streaks in my opinion. Um, I'm not really too sure if it's gonna, you know, cover the entire map and uh, how big that radius is for the flare to burn the enemy, so. We're gonna have to wait and see how that plays out as well, but definitely these streaks so far look absolutely amazing. Um, the Juggernaut suit there seems to be the most powerful, but the White Phosphor sounds the coolest out of all of these streaks so far. Very, very excited to see what else we have in store for us, guys. And then next up here, Infinity War touched base a little bit about the customization content in Modern Warfare. And the way they did this was replying to a Reddit post and the title was please do not have pink rainbow glowing random unrealistic skins for our characters and that's kind of been the main concern for a couple years now since micros have been introduced in the call of duty universe um, because call of duty is supposed to be a realistic um, arcade shooter but for the past couple of years there's been you know bunny outfits um, just glowing skins, you know, stuff that most Call of Duty fans do not really enjoy too much. I, for one, could care less because their customization content, um, they're just skins. They don't really do anything else with the game. I mean, sure, I'd rather have realistic, modern, cool-looking camos, that kind of stuff, but 
I mean, if they want to, you know, throw in like a glowing, flashing dark matter camo, I, I could really care less. I just care about the gunplay. I think that's going to be a bigger concern to me. But getting off topic a little bit here, um, they do say that our North Star are realistic and relevant. That's what they're shooting for for customization content in Modern Warfare. Realistic and relevant. So this could mean you know digital camos for like your body or your helmet um that's just a little idea is throwing out there um it does not appear that they're going to be focusing too much on you know ch childlike content glowing flashing in your face camos they're more you know focusing on realism in the game which you know is definitely a, a big concern for infinity ward but then again we also don't know how big of a say infinity ward has with microtransaction content in the game because Activision may decide to throw in these unrealistic flashing camos because that's that honestly is what sells in the market system That's what sells cod points. I also do see them adding variations of these in-game watches Which by the way will all sync up to the time on your PlayStation Xbox or PC, which is pretty dang cool so maybe they could add something like, you know, different color bands for the watch or like I said, different variations for the watch. I could see that becoming a thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see what kind of customization items are gonna be coming up. But I assume that and many, many more stuff is gonna be revealed to us come August the 1st on the multiplayer reveal date, which is this coming Thursday. Um, speaking of which, I'd like to give my predictions on that. Um, definitely we are going to be seeing some multiplayer gameplay, that's for sure. Um, YouTubers are also flying out to Infinity Ward Studios to go to a capture event to record gameplay. And by then they should have their own footage uploaded as well. And I can see them also maybe discussing something about the Spec Ops mode. Um, we don't really have too much information about that. I think they will be revealing that at a, at a later date for sure, but definitely like a little tease or um, something like a trailer uh, is going to be given out to us on that multiplayer reveal date. I'm not sure if they're going to be talking about a battle royale because we don't even know if there is going to be a battle royale for Modern Warfare. I, like I said, you guys know how I feel about that. I just don't see it happening for this year. Um, but I think it would be pretty epic to see at the very end of a trailer, like, you know, just Modern Warfare Battle Royale or, or whatever it can be called. That would be pretty friggin' epic. So we're going to be getting some Modern Warfare gameplay. We're going to be able to see the gunsmith and the gun bench for sure. Um, the customization options for the weapons. We're going to finally be able to see all of the operators, kill streaks, and so, so much more. This Thursday is going to be freaking awesome, guys. Please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys, because I am so, so hyped for this Modern Warfare reveal event. It's crazy. Like... This is the most hype I've really ever been for a Call of Duty game in the past couple years now. Um, Modern Warfare has blown me away so far. I really cannot wait to see what more is in store for us, guys. Um, also, one last thing. Very, very humbled by all the birthday wishes I got today. It really does mean a lot to me. I'm turning 22, if you guys didn't know. My birthday was today, July 29th. And again, I really do appreciate all the birthday wishes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Love you all so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.